All packed up, all weighed in. We had the eagle screaming at us this morning to get you out of camp. Try to catch up during the summer and uh, for sure in October. That would be good. That would be good. <laughs> See you in Brent in October. Fantasy 6-5 was a plan to celebrate my 65th birthday by spending an entire canoe season on the water. More than 150 days, launching in May and taking out in October. So, here we go, first portage. And a little bit of evidence of uh, other trail users. And just a few steps further, uh, another pile. And then just a few more steps, and we've got another pile. It looks like the wolves are using this trail lots. Certainly around that hill, they stop to relieve themselves <laughs> and the day has turned out to be very nice blue skies high clouds this is good all good carrion's going pretty good so i guess that hill walk and conditioning that dan and i were doing through uh late march and april uh, paid off. Uh, the legs aren't hurting at all. Happy trails! Okay, away we go. Last load going through. Uh, just approaching the second portage of the day. And actually the second portage of the entire journey. Fantasy 6-5. I'm going to have lunch here first. The water here is looking very high. Very often this end of this portage is flooded out. There was one time I actually was chasing minnows down this portage. I think I usually land over at this side here. I'm uh, still on the second portage here and uh, I've got two loads at the end. Third load here is uh, at about the halfway point and uh, I'm just taking a little rest before I carry it the rest of the way. So I got I got three loads. The lightest load I think is probably around 56, 58 pounds somewhere in there. That's the canoe load. The food pack load I'm estimating to be, it would be probably about 60 pounds. And this load with the canoe, with the camera box is uh, 70, 75, uh, maybe more. I don't want to think, uh, might be, might be higher than 75. Moody, 
Good to go. Onwards, and in this case, just flatwards. <laughs> that was a short one. I wish I could say it was sweet, but I don't think I've ever had a portage I could call it sweet. It's my first day on my own. I left Dan this morning. He's headed back home. And, uh, and uh, I'm on my own. So I'm in this little campsite here. Didn't quite make it as far as I was hoping to. But uh, I'm exhausted. I had to triple carry all these portages. I got heavy loads. And uh, that's it for today. Wowzers, man, I am tired. I gotta get my pack there and uh, get the camp set up. Gonna get the stove there and get my supper set up. Ah. Uh, First, I'm gonna relax for a minute. I got my chair set up, that was the first thing. Oh, Jesus. That's some heavy lifting for an old guy. <laughs> yeah. Here we go up the creek. And in this case, going up the creek with three paddles. First Beaver Dam. And this one I may be able to just pull up through that little slot on the left. Let's see how this goes. coming up. Holy smokes. I'm going to make it around that one, Paul. Good luck. Huh. 
Well, that's not going to be easy. Boy, oh boy, how are you going to get around this one, hey? So, I got to try to get the front arm of the can. Push the ass end over. Ah, there we go. Now I gotta try to get the front end around. And that's stuck in the bushes. Ah. Okay. So, there you go. That's what you need. Getting somewhere. Get the ass end around. Yep. There we go. Yeah, that was a unorthodox maneuver there. And here we are. This is where I'm going. That's got me stopped anyway. begins right here. Yeehaw! Oh, this is a beast. This is a beast. Yeah. It'll be better in a week. And I've eaten a pile of this food. <laughs> right now, heavy lifting. Heavy lifting. First load blowing up. The first part of the trail, we come to what we call the Grove of Pines. It's a beautiful little spot here. Big, huge cedars. And going up the hill, more big white pines. And this big boy. Yeah. 
Man, nice tree, eh? He's a real big boy. I think of that. Right? This is tomogamy. Tall pines. Here's that flat bog section. All done. And we're heading back into the trees. And just inside this tree line, I'm going to drop this load and go back for something else. Wow. Yep. Right there. A good spot to put down a heavy pack. Oh, oh does that ever feel good? I'd ever feel good to get that off my back. Oh, minimum. Woo -wee. I'm almost, not quite, almost halfway. I've got all three loads here. I was able to float the canoe with my gear pack, camera box. Uh, about 160 meters here. So that saved me like 320 meters of carrying and a couple of trips back. So well worth a little bit of pulling at the edges of the creek to drag myself up. It's uh, getting close to two o'clock now and uh, Definitely time for lunch. Overdue for lunch. Matter of fact. And I've been considering strategy for this afternoon. Uh, what I may end up doing is taking a load up the hill, take my gear load up, and uh, oops, and set up camp, and then come back for the pack load, uh, the food pack, and uh, and some other items, and then come back one more time, and I'm going to bring my empty gear pack, and I'm going to put the camera box and the kitchen in that. So I mean, I'm only carrying packs up the hill. There are packs and chest packs and camera box. And more loads, but lighter loads. I think that might be good for today. But I am feeling it with these heavy loads. Uh, we're not on compacted trails anymore. And feet are sinking into the ground and the moss. It makes for harder walking. I'm just about done my hummus here. I have to mix up some more. I got about 300 meters yet to get to where I'm going to camp tonight. I'm going to drop this food pack here. I'll come back and get it later. I'm back for the gear pack. Very pretty creek. The water is very high this year. And a little look at the at the Portage Trail. It's a sea of rocks. Same thing going that way. I mean, you might be able to see my pack sitting up there, right in the middle of the picture.
Oh, holy smallies. Ah. First load. This is where I'm going to camp today. Oh, and two more loads to go. God damn. This is my new uh, bug net, personal bug net. So with this, that's my little respite from the bugs. I don't want to set up my full gazebo and string this thing. I can just stick it over my head if I want. But uh, it's kind of nice like this. So while that water's boiling, uh, I think I'm going to get inside. Oh, bug free! Ever nice! Oh, we got a boil! There! We'll let that sit for a little while. And uh, in no time at all, I'm going to be having orange ginger chicken stir fry with the famous tomogamy fruit cocktail for dessert. This one's got uh, pineapples, mangoes, peaches, and strawberries. I'm going to cozy this up. Now it'll stay hot for a long time. And now I'm going to go down the hill and get my canoe bring it up and then everything is in camp and here's my little canoe waiting for me to take it away and look at this big burly great big burly there's the view from under the canoe, a little shaky mind you, of the creek, big cedar, and uh, Cascading Creek. Really sweet. Everything's in camp. Yes. Now I can send out my okay. There we go. So now the people back home will know that I'm in camp and everything's good. Apart from being really hot and sweaty. Ah, good day. It's a day I've lost count. I think it's day 18. I'm going to have to check. It's, uh, it's a Monday. I think that. I'm not sure of that either. Today was an exhausting day, again. Um, this particular portage is awful rough. Uh, treacherous footing, it's all rocks and logs and holes and bogs and... 
Yeah, you can sink in a few places. The water this year is incredibly high up here. I was just looking up here at the lake at the top end, and I've never seen it so high. The water level is, is right up to the brim, like beyond the brim. It's going to be easy peasy putting in there. Normally, there's all these rocks on the edge that make it a real pain in the arse. But this year, I put my boat in right from the moss and paddle away. I only moved like four, four and a half kilometers from last night's camp. And I, I left there, I left there late, it was after 10, but by the time I actually got everything in camp here, it was after 6.30. Now, I had supper going and the camp set up and everything else, you know, but I brought stuff up the hill in stages and I actually ended up doing four loads. So tomorrow, I have two poor cars to get into Broken Pelvis Lake. And it's gonna be broken. My pelvis. Bet on it. It's only like three kilometers, I gotta go. But a brutal three kilometers. Most of it's carrying. And up, up. The last portage into Broken Pelvis will break your pelvis. It's just a sheer steep grunt. Insanely steep totter a little bit and you're going to do worse over tea kettle all the way down and it's supposed to be like almost 30 degrees 28 degrees something like that i'm going to try to get everything wrapped up here early get a really early night sleep and get moving super early in the morning before the heat builds uh, let's see how that works <laughs> meanwhile Back to the orange ginger chicken and the ambiance. Alrighty, ready to rock. There's a little tiny spruce up on the top of the rock there. Oh, he's a hardy, hardy little spruce. Look at that little guy. I don't know if you'll see him up there. Up on top of that rock. He's a tough little mother. Can I get past that to wonder? Yeah, I think I can. Yeah, it's a floater. So we can just 
push that out of the way. There we go. And through the bushes. Hopefully to some semblance of dry land. Or not. <laughs> you can't get there from here, Sonny. If I can push this over to there. And now the fun and games begin. I'm here at the uh, first hill. So, uh, not very far into this. Uh, bog walk, I'm going to turn this around. Uh, you can probably see. Some serious freaking steepness. Here we go. Holy smolies, rough going. only a couple of minutes later at the next portage uh, this one is super uber brutal but uh, first lunch right here unload this puppy eat break my pelvis. <laughs> I hope not. Oh. On the bog walk, in the hot sun. Man, this is brutal. That uh, forecast was for 28 degrees. I'll bet it's every single degree of that right now. Oh, we're getting into the gooey gooey. I'll just show you. There's what we're. That's what we're skirting. It's uh. It's messy. And it's full of frogs of all descriptions. There we go. And almost there. Just around the corner here. And I can put this down. Whew. Oh man. Camp is just around the corner. 
on a five or six minute paddle. Once I get the canoe over this here beaver dam. Oh, there we go. Yes. Two. Oh boy, is this a steep one. Ah. See you on the flip side. Ah. Last load, going up. Holy smallies, there's no other direction. Oh. oh, this is a brutal hill. Not bad, really brutal, brutal hill. Upwards. And here we are, finally on Broken Pelvis Lake. And about five or six minutes from camp. As long as we can get out of this bar, okay. Ah, This is not an easy lake to get to. Not at all. Oh, so glad to be here. I'm gonna spend a few days here. Oh, much needed rest. Yes, sirree, Bob. Oh, I got a comfy little campsite here. Made it myself, carved out of the wilderness. And uh, each time I come, I improve it a little bit more. 8.30 to 4.30. That's an eight hour day. Eight hours to move, what, three kilometers? There's my little camp. Pretty little place. And down there at the end of the lake, that low spot, that is where uh, another portage comes in. And it's also a mountain goat trail straight up. Holy moly. Oh, nice and windy here. This is going to take care of the box. So there's my school campsite. Home sweet home. Yeehaw. Thank you. 
Elvis. Back in the high country. Ah, cliffs, hills, more hills. Lookouts, views to be had. Oh, this is a beautiful place. It's um, late supper, 10 o'clock. I've just kind of been sitting around. Got a real comfy, cozy camp here. Got the no bug zone set up. Got my tent inside. Got all my stuff here. Cooked supper here. Eating supper here. Got meatloaf and mashed potatoes. Um, all these meals. I dehydrated myself, well, cooked them, then dehydrated them, then packaged them all up, and then now I'm going to eat them all up. <laughs> and I'm taking tomorrow off. Today was an awfully grueling day. Eight hours between camps. And my last night's camp is, if, as the crow flies, two kilometers away. Took me eight hours to get here. Brutally steep hills. Mm. I had to, uh, on, on both of these trails, I had to uh, split the loads into four on the steepest sections. Absolutely brutal. I drank three liters of water between camps. Well, two and a half liters of water and half a liter of tea. Wow. I got a hold of Dan today. I was getting concerned. I hadn't heard from him. Um, we split up three days ago. And, uh, Hadn't heard from him, and I'd messaged him a couple of times, heard nothing back. Started to get concerned that something had happened to him on the way out. And, uh, but uh, today, I guess it, there, was a, there was an issue with the Zolio app on his phone. So we got that cleared up, and now we're back in contact. So that, that's good, and he's okay. <laughs> He saw a black bear and two moose. Uh, after we split up, he went back, paddled out to his truck, and he saw the bear and two moose on the way. That's nice. I haven't seen any bear, I haven't seen any moose. Just birds, geese, oh man, I wish I'd have these get flight of geese that were parked on the north point here. They took off uh, just before sunset. And of course the wind's from the south, so they took off this way and they swooped right over camp here. The whole flight, like just treetop level, they are huge freaking birds when you get close to them. Just stretched out like that up in the air, honking, honking. <laughs> Quite the sight to see.